Okay, so we're back with the whole uh, Donna Charmaine shit. Uh, so, um, Donna's feeling that Charmaine is saying what she's saying. Or said what she said to, hmm, excuse me, Ashley because uh, she wants to be with him. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> Don is not willing to tell the truth to anybody, not even his brother that he didn't fuck Charmaine yet. Bruh, your ass is on camera. You know, fucking old girl, like, you, you can't sit here and keep on playing around like that. You know what I'm saying? Just like, <clears throat> and if anything, it should have been one of those, okay, well, I'm going to lie to you because Van is right here, but then I'm going to pull you off to the side and let you know, like, nah, man, I did smash shawty, but he ain't fucking doing that. Now, uh, Katrina still has not closed off uh, her heart and her mind to her ex. And because <clears throat> she's saying that she didn't have closure. My thing is this. Even if you ain't got closure, you need to find closure for your damn self. And the fact that he... She, well, here's the thing. I'm not saying that you got to change your number. You bring up with a motherfucker. You don't need to necessarily change your number. But if this motherfucker still has a way to fucking reach you, you need to make yourself fucking unreachable. Because here's the thing. Is if you don't, then that means that you still want to be reached is what I'm saying. So, you know, he still has a uh, rented space in her head and it's fucking with her. And Danielle, you know, is trying to comfort her, but we'll see what happens. And Van shares uh, his legal woes with uh, the rest of the NIMAG fam. And, of course, Ryan is uh, taking this a bit to heart because, okay, he's already losing his his child. Not necessarily losing him, but his child um, is uh, going to be in L.A. while he's in the shy. There's that. You have um, a four career possibly blowing up, which takes him away from Nightmare and now probably losing Van. So we'll see what happens. Cat is uh, talking with Ryan. You know, to kind of go back down memory lane about how she um, had watched a lot of his work, inspiring, you know, to work with him and whatnot. He denied her the first time, and in him denying her, she went, refined herself got good she's part of the family she's talking about uh her urban ink shoot and you know it, it causes ryan to ask her about you know potentially moving on and <clears throat> he feels some kind of way which i can understand you know like because he's lost a lot of people it's hard for him to let people in which i'm like fuck i, I know that feeling and you know he views nine mag not necessarily as a business but as a family which I'm not gonna say that's really part of the issue, but it's one of those things where I do understand. So for him, it's just like he doesn't want to have to continuously start over with new people. But you can tell that for him, it's not truly just about business. Because if that was the case, then it wouldn't be an issue. He would have he would have motherfuckers on the Rolodex ready, like when they leave, got some more people coming in. So I can understand how he feels, and it's just that chemistry that they've built thus far. Um, further talking about that, Ryan sees there's uh, issues between Don and uh, Charmaine. He wants um, that shit to be squashed. Charmaine's whole thing is somebody in the family is uh, spreading lies, and it's is getting back to her that she's being painted almost as like the villain or whatever. She thinks it's Don, as do I. You know, just the whole, uh, you know, her trying to break up a good thing between uh, Don and Ashley. And Don's whole thing is, he, like, he's, like, talking to her like he fucking owns her. Like, you know, don't talk about it. Stop talking about it. Like, he doesn't want her to discuss it. It's almost as if, if you don't discuss it, then it's not a reality for me. But it's one of those things where it's like, bro, I mean, if you own up to, you know, what's going on. I mean, it's one of those where it's just like... If you're going to cheat, cheat. If you're going like, to do your dirt, do your dirt. But be man enough to stand in it and admit that, you know what? Hey, I'm doing what I'm doing. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, that's all I got for right now. All right. So, got the last of the stuff, y'all. So, mm, you see, Four is confused with uh, Cat. Apparently, she is sending him mixed signals. So, you know, on one hand, doesn't want to do shit with him. On the other hand, it's like, I guess, almost, you know, one the Django without the Django, you know, so 
and we gonna see some of that in the next episode. All right, we we gonna we gonna see them legs spread. Mm, possibly. All I'm gonna say is this, you know, she kept a grip on that motherfucker drink. She's a professional. I, I was I was pleasantly surprised. Go ahead now. Um, like I said, Ryan thinks that a cast photo shoot is probably going to make her more big headed. Uh, like I said she has to shoot, and just the way that um <clears throat> things are going down, it's not really making him feel too good about everything. And um, like I said I totally kind of understand uh, what he's getting at and his frustration. Um, let me see. Ashley puts Don out. <clears throat> and of course Don reacts the way that he has been reacting the whole entire time getting loud belligerent in addition to trying to again use his size his uh you know his voice everything anger to try to intimidate but again I had you know the Louisianian wasn't phased by and you know again you know homegrown Chicago wasn't phased by the shit either and hit his egg and you know he hitting the wall and shit. she was like do i have to call the police like <laughs> you want to see the bitch come out of somebody say say the popo <laughs> i'm just saying Whoo, oh some real shit y'all oh some real shit i'm sorry it's not funny but that shit was fucking funny to me to me um so van and ryan they talk uh about uh, criminal cases and whatnot, you know, of course, Ryan has gone to jail uh, in reference to possession of a uh, deadly weapon. <clears throat> and they're talking about uh, what Van might be going through, you know, the reality of being a black man, you know, in Chicago, let alone in this world. And, you know, he even said, when, look, y'all, when he said fucking Cook County. I know it was about Cook County. I ain't never been in it, but I didn't have family when I in there. I didn't been there a few times. Lord, he said Cook County. Lord, Lord. If y'all, here's the thing. Unless y'all been to Chicago and unless y'all been to Cook County, y'all not gonna understand. You will not. Because there's motherfuckers that didn't lived in Chicago and don't know shit about Cook County. Okay. What else? Uh, so it's at this point that Ryan pretty much has a breakdown, which I understand. Like, I understood the breakdown. You know what I'm saying? It's just... What people fail to realize is like, unless you know how it is to, you know, constantly have to deal with losing people and, you know, fearing getting, a you know, close or attached to someone for the fear of losing them. Trust me, I've been there. I know it. I'm very apprehensive about getting close to people. And my whole thing is this, like, I don't really have friends, you know, either your ass is an acquaintance slash an associate or your ass is family. And, you know, I have to be very, very cautious and weird about who I let get close you know what I'm saying and I, like I said I understood Ryan having a fucking breakdown sometimes you know shit goes on it's just like it's hard to articulate it but hey it is what it is for what is worth he uh, reached his breaking point you feel what I'm saying and I don't give a fuck I'm still team Ryan right now Ryan ain't did shit to piss a motherfucker off you know but you know eventually he gets to the point where Ryan about to get into it with his best bud and you know then his best bud is sitting here talking shit about Van now Van about to sit here and put his hands on him like it was just one of those it was just so much shit I'm glad that it was diffused because again I forget who said it to Van but I think it might have been four where it's just like bruh you already facing a charge right now the last thing your ass need is sit here and get locked up right the fuck now cause it's not gonna help your situation <clears throat> That's pretty much it. That is it. I, I am caught up with Black Ink Crew Chicago. Yay for me. Uh, so, you guys will get the uh, episode tomorrow. All right, y'all will get this shit. On time. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, what I'm going to try to do is, of course, I got, what, less than two hours before I got to go live with Trending Topics. I'm going to keep saying it. Okay, Periscope, y'all, y'all need to be on. We're going to talk about some shit. But I got less than two hours for that, so I'm probably gonna be on Periscope for a hot minute. I got I got love on y'all for a little bit. I do, and I will more than likely probably get um the Real Households out because only two episodes of that. Try to do some love and hip hop, and then go ahead and go live for uh, of course you know the Real Households of Atlanta. I don't think anything else comes on on Sunday. Again, I've been fucking detached. I got to get back on my original schedule. Enough black, but that's all I got. This was Black and Crew Chicago. Please rate, comment, subscribe, share. I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, peace.